I'm a YouTuber, and I was gonna see if I was gonna, if I can ask you some questions for my YouTube. I'm a barber, and I'm just gonna ask like some barber questions about your barber and stuff. Uh, is that cool? Yeah, if it is, we gotta go. Okay. I'm just gonna ask if you would mind me asking you some questions on camera about your barber and like your haircut and stuff. Uh, huh? Okay, that's good. I was gonna ask. Uh, you think I can ask you some questions real quick for YouTube? Uh, real quick. Rush, All right, man. Yeah, I, 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 just some questions on camera. No, that's fine. What's good, YouTube? Y'all know what it is, man. Uh, I'm gonna do a different style video for y'all today. What I'm gonna do is I'm heading out to the mall. I got my boy Thomas, AKA Cubezilla. Uh, I got him behind the camera for your boy. You know what I'm saying? He drove out, took a three hour drive, said, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna come out and help you get some content because I've been wanting to do different style content for y'all. So shout out to him. Y'all make sure to give him a follow. I'm gonna put his information down in the description. And uh, I got a haircut tutorial coming with him soon also. Just recorded that. <laughs> Well, you we said we're gonna do a four on top and a burst fade, or a six? A six on six. top. Six, yeah, I almost cut all your hair off. <laughs> so we're doing a, a six and a burst fade. So yeah, man, let's go ahead and get into this haircut. As you can see, I got my, my number six using my snap FX. We're gonna take number six, go over the top of my client's head. Go over it, good amount of times, you know what I'm saying? You wanna make sure we get that all down to that desired length. So as you can see, we're just coming around the ear. Getting all this hair down to that trimmer link. What what got you to the point of your like quality that you're at now? Like was it YouTube, Instagram? What was Man, it? to be honest, whenever I, I started like doing it, I, I I went on YouTube and was like, let me see these reviews. Let me see who got it out there. And the first person that popped up was you and Reggie. Yeah. And I was like, all right, cool. Let me see what what I can learn from these two people real quick. <laughs> But now we're on the way, we're gonna hit the mall up. I'm just gonna be asking, you know, different people how they feel about barbers' prices, you know, how much is too much. Just a couple questions I wanna ask random people and see what their reaction is, see what they answer, and then, yeah, that's basically what we're gonna be doing. So y'all stay tuned, guys. Uh, that's what we're getting into. Let's get it. All right, man, first off, y'all know what it is. Your boy Tank be chopping. Uh, what's your name and what is it that you do? Xavier and I, I work at HEB. You work at HEB, all right, cool. So I'm out here just asking random people, uh, how much do you pay for your haircut? 50 bucks. Barber you currently go to, you go to them all the time? Yeah, every, like, every other week. Every other week, so 50 bucks every other week. How long have you been going to this barber? Uh, about over a year now. So what price would be, what's the price that's too high for you to pay? Like if you raise his prices, what would be too much for you to pay? Uh, anything over like 70 and up, that'd be too much. That's too much for you, okay cool man. Uh, if you wanna give him a shout out man, feel, uh, feel free man, shout out the boy out. Shout out my boy Angel, you already know what it is. All right man, I appreciate that big dog. Right, appreciate it. Y'all be safe, man. Hey, uh, look me up, man. Tank be chopping. Okay, man. Yeah, check me up. Y'all have a good one. We're here at Premier Select. Shout out to uh, Premier Select, man. They got the best shoes in the game right now. You know what I'm saying? We're here at Baybrook Mall, but uh, gonna ask these guys some questions about their barbers. So uh, let me ask you first, man. Uh, do you have a barber that you go to like on a weekly basis or every other week? Yes. Uh, how often do you go in a month? Uh, about every week. I go once a week. So okay. Like four times. And how much does your barber charge you per cut? Forty. So he's charging you 40 for what, like a skin fade, ball fade taper? Yeah, uh, mustache, e eyebrows, everything. Okay, uh, so. That's what I tip, so I tip him like probably like 45. Oh, nice, okay, so my next question to you is, at what price would set you apart to say, nah, I can't get my haircut with you no more, bro? Like, how much is too much for you, basically? Bro, I'm not paying more than 50 for a cut. Like, that's, I, I don't know. All right, uh, next question. I'm coming every week, bro, that's 50, that's 102 weeks. 204 weeks. It's just, nah, it don't make sense. <laughs> I got you, I got you. And uh, does your barber have like an Instagram account? Yeah, he does. So shout him out real quick. Uh, my boy George Fades, let me see. Pull him up, pull him up, pull him up. My boy George.Fades, craziest barber in the game on the east side. Uh, if you stay over there on that side, hit him up through his booksy and stuff. That's my boy. Already, man. Shout out to George Fades. Same questions, man. Uh, do you got a barber that you go to on the regular at least every other week? Yeah, I do. Uh, you go to him how often in the month? About either three to four times. All right, cool. And uh, what's his price point for it? Do you get a haircut and a beard trim or just a haircut? Uh, everything. It's a haircut, beard trim, beard, uh, edge up, eyebrows. He even do the little massage thing on the face, okay, yeah. the, the towel. But it's only it's only forty. It's only forty, and uh, that's what? Without tip. That's, that's without, without tip. tip. Okay. So, uh, what price point is too high for you? Like, what, if you decided to raise his prices today, what would be the absolute most you'd pay for the haircut? Well, with him, to be honest, that's my that's my bro, that's like my bros. 
brother. Okay. Like my best friend's brother, you, basically. And uh, been going with him since high school, bro. And when I need a fade, like, man, he don't got an Instagram or none of that, but he's over there on the north side. I live over there on the north side by Irvington. Uh, okay. But him, to be honest, a price point that I won't, I'll stop, it'll be like, over a hundred to be honest because he never charged me more for like a house call nothing. Oh, so he just showed love because y'all yeah. have known each other for so long. Yeah, so that's long. love, man. That's love. So but a hundred so if he went to eighty bucks, you'd still I'll still do it. That's what's up, it man. Might, it up? might not be every week. But you still go but to I him. Still hey, go that, that's loyalty, my guy. That's loyalty. I had to, bro. I had to. He's man, he's buys shirts for me from my brand, shoes when I got anything. So really it's already man, that's what's up. Back and go, back and go, you know, already. my back, I scratch his. That's what's up, man. Hey, I appreciate you, yes, though. Sir, appreciate y'all, man. So check it out. Uh, first off, what is your name and what is it exactly that you do? Hey man, my name is JD. Oh. Uh, I do music. Okay. I go to college. I'm trying to get into plants right now, so uh, this is my major, you know, that I'm doing right now. Process technician. All right, cool. So my next question: I'm a barber, so I'm asking you some barber stuff. So uh, do you have a barber that you go to on like a monthly basis? Yeah, I go to uh, it's that spot over there. Over there by Planet Fitness and King Buffet. Okay. Uh, her name is Tasha. Tasha, okay. So, my next question to you is how much do you actually pay for your haircut? I pay like 35 for the haircut and to get it braided. Okay, so you pay 35 to get a haircut and get it braided. Cool, cool. So, then my next question I want to ask you is uh, how much is too much for you to get your haircut and get braided? Because I know you get a haircut and braided. What's the most you're willing to pay for a haircut and braids? The most I'm willing to pay for a haircut, probably like 50. 50 for the haircut and braids? Like 50. The most I ever paid for a haircut was 85. 85? How'd that make you feel? Shit, I feel broke. But I feel broke. <laughs> hey, I appreciate you, man. I hope your music does good, big dog. Yes, sir, keep, keep getting it, bro. Thank you. Too, man, I was wondering if I could ask you some questions, like yeah. for you two. Yeah, cool. Sure, All right, cool. All right, man. Uh, first and foremost, what's your name and what is it that you do? Uh, my name is Junior. I'm a welder in refineries. All right, cool. So my next question I want to ask you, I'm a barber, so I'm going to ask you some barber questions. So uh, one question, uh, do you have a barber that you go to, like just one barber that you go to all the time? I do, yeah. And uh, how often do you go to him in a month? Uh, maybe three or four times a month. Okay, three or four times. And how much does he charge you for your haircut? 50 bucks. 50 bucks. So my next question to you is, what is too much for you to pay for a haircut? Like whether it's him or any other barber, what do you think is too expensive for you to pay for a haircut? I don't know, bro. The barber's good. It's not really a price. There's, there's, no, there's no limit, huh? There's no limit. I love that. I love that, man. Uh, if you want to shout out your barber, what, what is your barber located at, actually? Uh, she works out of her house. Okay, and where, is that like in this area or? Mm, no, it's more to like Pasadena area. Okay, Pasadena area. Cool, cool. Man, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate your time, bro. Thank All you right. so much. It really means a lot to me. Appreciate it. All right, man. So we just left Baybrook Mall. We asked a couple people, you know, the questions we wanted to ask. But honestly, man, a lot of people ain't trying to be on camera. Maybe it's the time we went. You know, we went kind of early. We were there from like, what, like one to three, huh? So we were there for like two and a half hours or so. So maybe, the, I mean, obviously the time, you know, there wasn't no young, younger people in there to ask. But like I said, we got some content for y'all. So hopefully y'all enjoy the content. But we're heading back to the shop. I got someone coming to the shop at like 4.15. So it's 337 now. So we're going to get back to the shop and uh, probably record some more footage, man. Let's get it. I got my boy Victor right here. I'm just going to ask him some questions. Just, you know, a small little interview. You know how your boy does it. Why do you come to me to get your haircut? Like, what, what makes you want to come to me? Because there's barbers everywhere, you know, like, especially here in Pasadena. There's a bunch of barber shops. What, like, what in your mind sticks out to be like, oh, I want a tank cut. I don't want to go to these other barbers. And what makes you just want to come to me or the shop in general? Well, in my opinion, I always thought you were really good at cutting hair. Ever since I first came here, I know I was getting my hair cut by somebody else, but we a lot say of no names. No. <laughs> but uh, my cousin used to tell me you cut hair and uh, you cut really good hair. And every time I see him with his haircut that you gave him, he yeah. always look clean. So yeah, I was like, man, haircut. I was like, man, I want to get a haircut like that. Like, well, what do I gotta do to get a haircut like that? Yeah, yeah. And then, then finally, I found you in uh, in Booksy, yeah. the app. And then uh, that's like basically I, it, huh? Yeah, and then I was just like, man, well, finally I'm gonna get a a good haircut. Yeah. And uh, well, yeah, you uh, you cut my hair uh, after that, I felt really good. Yeah, yeah. How'd you feel? Cause I, I remember cutting your hair the first time. I remember. And I think I got down. And I think it looked good. How did you feel? I don't, do you remember the first haircut I gave you? Yeah. I do. How, how did you feel when I gave you the mirror? Man, I feel confident. 
confident. I was like, this is a fade? I was like, okay. Like, this, this is how it's nice. supposed to look. Yeah, this is how it's supposed to look, man. It's nice. That's what's up, man. We got my boy Tino in the chair. So Tino, uh, just tell, I want you to tell YouTube, what is it that you do, first of all? I work at TCB in Deer Park on Center Street to customize trucks, cars, systems, lifts, drops, whatever you need. All right, so next question I want to ask you is, why is it that you come here to Chopper's Barbershop? Why is it that you like to sit in Tangby Chopper's chair? <laughs> well, <laughs> our friendship goes back to school for sure. Um, I text you, say, hey man, I need, a, I need to get in. You never said no, so I appreciate that. And yes, sir. Um, you know, hey, the haircuts are good too. And I'll bring my brother here too. I can get my haircut after hours. I can get the haircut I want have the good company. How much is too much for a haircut in your opinion? If it's a service you're willing to pay, you're gonna pay the price. It's when you go Starbucks, you're gonna pay whatever it is that you want because you want it. And, and Starbucks, people can argue that that's overpriced coffee, but people like the service and But you, you, know. you gotta think about it this way. Not only you're offering a service, you're also offering after our times. Yeah. So 100 bucks, 150 bucks, you're not paying for the haircut, you're paying for the spot to get in, to get your haircut. Uh, sometimes you squeeze me in where it's like my daughter's birthday, an anniversary, and it's eight o'clock, nine o'clock, sometimes 10 o'clock. But, you know, the, being able to be taken care of, you know, if you're willing to pay 150 bucks, 200 bucks for a house call, that's what you feel comfortable with paying, there's not necessarily a cap. So there's no cap basically off of what what you feel based on if the barber is available for you and can get you in, there's really no cap in, in what you're saying. For me personally, no. It's I mean obviously there is a cap. If, if someone told you five hundred bucks, you're not gonna pay five hundred bucks for haircut. I mean you? You, I mean you're gonna get the service if I say, Hey, tank meet me at the house, how much? You know, it's two hundred bucks, two fifty. You're gonna pay it if you need it. I got you. It's got just you. the service. Yeah. Well, you know, in, in my job, retail, appearance is 100% of the game. If you look like a bum, the customers are not going to want to spend money with you. That's just how it is. You know, yeah, we're, that's, yeah, that's facts. That's we're visual. You know, I got customers that they don't necessarily buy the facts that I can spit out. They buy what the person looks like. You know, some customers will come in and see, you know, you're looking shaggy. They're going to take a second thought of, oh, this guy doesn't know his craft well. So taking pride in appearance and retail, for me, in my opinion, is important. That's uh, one thing uh, me and my boy Thomas were talking about earlier, like cer certain people are, are willing to pay more who value their appearance more, right? Like if, like, if you're like you, you're in the public eye a lot because you work, you know, you work a business and you're always trying to sell shit to people. So you value your appearance because you know you're going to be in front of people 90 percent of the time at your job. So oh, you yeah. value it and you're willing to pay more for that for the haircut because it's something that you feel is is needed in, in your your line of business. It's necessary. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. All right, guys, so that's basically it for this video. Uh, I wanted to provide y'all with some different style content, different than what y'all always see your boy doing. You know, I'm always doing unboxing, reviews, uh, barber tutorials. So I wanted to switch some things up, and I feel that, you know, I wish I could have got some more people to engage with me, wish I could have had some more people answer what I was asking, but I got a little bit of content for you. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and if y'all like this style of content, y'all let me know down in the comment section, man. Smash that like button. Let me know if y'all like this style of content. Also, if y'all want to see more of this type of content, let me know what questions y'all think I should ask next. Let me know where I should go to try to get this type of content. Leave me some suggestions down in the comment section. Y'all know I always be checking out my comments and I'll try to provide y'all with that content. But with that being said, guys, if y'all like this video, please make sure to smash that like button. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe one time for your boy. And that's basically it, YouTube. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time, let's go.